So how would you describe what your experience at Arizona has been like uh, so far? It's been amazing, obviously, getting to play early as a freshman and getting that, uh, that beneficial early experience was huge for me. And uh, the school part of it has been great for me. You know, I love the environment here. And having my brother here has been awesome to live with him, so it's been great. Would you say that you expected to play as a freshman? Or um, at least, or should I say, as much as you did? No, sir, not at all. I mean, I expected to maybe get in like a couple of like, blowout games, stuff like that, but I didn't. I didn't expect to get as much experience as I did. What did you gain out of uh, the game that you played? I mean, I would say main is just like the environment and the speed of the game, being able to get in there. And I mean, live bullets are flying, so I mean, that's huge as early career and that uh, early experience. How would you describe that experience last year when you and Khalil were kind of going back and forth there? Um, I mean, it was tough for both of us. I mean, Khalil was like a big brother to me. He was great to me, but I mean, I was just, I made sure I was prepared for whenever I was called on to go in and be able to have all the answers. Even though you, you said you weren't necessarily expecting to play that much, did you prepare yourself mentally and physically in case you were called upon? Oh yes sir, for sure. I was I was doing extra work making sure if my name was ever called that I had all the answers on the field when I was out there. Would you say you knew 100% of the playbook when you <coughs> went out there? Yes sir. Play? Yes sir. Yeah? Nine touchdowns, one interception. Where does your philosophy in, in being able to take care of the, the football come from? I mean, we would think that a freshman coming in might throw more picks than just one. Uh, like I was saying, I mean, like, if you don't get the ball in defense, you have a higher percentage of winning. And, uh, like I said, if you have all the answers, you, don't really, you know where you're going with the ball. You're not having any second chance guesses or anything like that. So there's no 50 50 ball or anything like that. And with Khalil graduated and transitioned out of the program, did he leave you for the advice? Uh, he really just, I mean, just stayed true to myself. So then you don't like throwing 50-50 balls, or that's just not a, a chance you'd like to take a lot there? As I'm in, like, 50-50 balls, like, I'm in 50-50 decision. Like, okay. like, oh, should I throw it there? Is that the right coverage to throw in that spot or stuff like that? How would you describe your style at the end of the season versus when you first stepped in? Uh, definitely a lot more comfortable. I would say so. I mean... I mean, when I first got in, I was nervous and green as I could expect it. So as I got more playing time, I got more comfortable. Was there ever a time that the game felt like fast or when you felt a little sort of, I don't know, overwhelmed out there? Honestly, no, sir, because like that NAU game, we were already up by three touchdowns. So <laughs> I got in, I was like, whatever. I mean, if I throw a pick, I throw a pick, we're already up. So it was kind of comfortable. What was that UCLA game like for you in the week leading up to that and then going out there and just kind of performing the way you did? Uh, really, honestly, it was excitement because I'm. I like to compete, stuff like that. So, like, I looked at it as my. It's my chance to show what I can do. Did you have any hesitation to come to Arizona? You know, you were just someone earlier and you know, switched. To, what was your thought process like? Um, so, I took my official visit out here in the spring. So, when I came here, I kind of knew this was the place. I took another official, but. I knew I wanted to play for some of them, and this was the place to be. What's the track? What do you like about them? What's the most thing you like about those two guys? Uh, you know what you're getting with them, and I have like a comfortable enough relationship with them that they're not going to BS with me. They're going to cut it straight with me. What's your mindset entering this spring football period? Uh, honestly, just get the offense tempo up and uh, get that uh, relationship with my receivers and the timing down. Would you say that your relationship with Booby is at a higher level than anyone else's because of your history? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, yes, sir. Because I mean, of course, high school and stuff like that, we've had a longer time together. And um, he's family to me, so I know he has my back no matter what. I have his back no matter what. Are you a leader by example? Are you somebody who gets in somebody's face? Are you rah rah? How would you describe your leadership skills? I would definitely say uh, lead by example. I'm not really a yeller. What did you want to prioritize uh, in the offseason as far as your? performance went. Like you said, I'm What did you want to prioritize? What did you want to focus on as far as your skills and uh, on the field? Uh, definitely a knack for me was definitely uh, velocity on the ball and arm strength. So I took a lot of time in this offseason to work on that and focus on stuff like that. How do you do that? Uh, a lot with my uh, legs and just weight room, stuff like that. Okay. Um, do you feel like the quarterback job is yours to lose? at this point, or how do you view sort of the competition? Yeah, it's always my job to lose. There's always competition. That's what, that's honestly what drives me, I have to say so. It's like what? There's, there's having that competition, there's never set in stone. I mean, if I play bad, I'm not going to play. Who are your quarterback items? Um, definitely Tom Brady, because he's a taller guy. And, uh, a lot of people don't like him, but Kirk Cousins, just with the energy he plays with. 
Could you see yourself yelling, you, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Are you a boisterous kind of guy like that in, in, you know, on, the, in, on the field? In the uh, more on the field, I'm more serious, but off the field, I like to joke around and stuff with my teammates. But on the field, it's more kind of straight or serious. You mentioned, no around. Sorry. you mentioned leadership by example. What are some examples of that? How do you sort of set the tone I mean, as a leader? Always being early to stuff, doing extra work like that. And uh, I mean, even off the field, doing the right things, not doing the wrong things in class and stuff like that, getting the on time to tutoring. And, uh, just making sure other people are doing the right things. You do have certain responsibilities as a quarterback for um, those player-only practices and so forth, right? Isn't that correct? Yeah, yes, sir. We've been, uh, I think we did PRP for two weeks, but we've been doing routes on air for, I mean, since we got here in January, so we've been working for a while. Is it up to you to organize those yes, sir. sessions? Have, yeah. you, have you always done that? Have you done that in high school, too? Yeah, I did that in high school, yeah. sir. And uh, I don't think the coach is allowed to. The NCAA. You, were you okay with losing your red shirt? Year last year? Oh yes, sir. I wanted to play. I mean, I like competing. I didn't. <laughs> there was no doubt in my mind if I was going to play one snap in a game, I wanted it. What do you figure was the biggest lesson you took away from that first year? Um, I just say don't get overwhelmed and stay, stay level-headed. No matter if it's a good thing or bad thing, just keep keep the course in the game. Was it was easy for you to. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. I mean, it was a little tough at the beginning, but I got more comfortable with it towards the end of the year. Because I mean. A game, anything. There's bad things and good things in a game that happen, so you kind of have to stay level ahead. You can't get too high or too low. What would you say was your highest moment last year, and what was your lowest moment? Um, I mean, my highest moment was winning the UCLA game, I would say, but uh, my lowest moment was probably getting pulled in the Oregon game, I'd say so. Well, what did you not like about that and, and the way, I guess, you played leading up to that? Um, I mean, I thought I played good, but. I'm a like I, I like to compete. I don't want to get pulled out. I want to be in the game. I want the ball in my hands. So that was tough for me to do. How tough was that Utah game? The state of the offensive line and just the tough defense that you faced that day. Uh, yeah, that was rough. I mean, but uh, we went into it think we were going to win. I, we honestly thought we were going to win, but it just turned out it wasn't like that. A lot of experts are underestimating Arizona this year. I saw that they were picked to finish last um, by someone who covers the Pac-12 regularly in the division. Do you guys look at any of that stuff? Do you use it as motivation at all? Do you sort of like being uh, under the radar a little bit? Yeah, it's better to be the underdog because, I mean, you should wait and see what's going to happen. Anything else for Grant? <laughs> <laughs>